Hey guys, I wanted to make this video today just kind of addressing some of the things I've been seeing out there, particularly from the vegan community where there's a lot of shaming going on against other vegans and it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, people are saying, vegans are saying that the term vegan has been hijacked, which is completely absurd. That's definitely not the case and I'll explain to you in this video why I feel that way. But first, before we get started, I need to go over a little bit of the history behind the term vegan in case you're not a vegan or vegetarian and you don't know where that came from. You can look it up online, but the short version is basically this. In 1944, Donald Watson was the co-founder of the Vegan Society in England. <laughs> he came up with the term vegan by taking vegetarian and shortening it and to include basically the uh, removal of all dairy and animal proteins, eggs, butter, milk, all of that from the vegetarian diet, hence vegan. Now, later on, it got changed to where veganism incorporated the idea of not contributing towards any animal exploitation or suffering. And so that's why now, today, the word vegan is argued over that sense. I feel it's not so much that the term has been hijacked. It's the wrong word to use because hijacked is having some sort of negative implication, like a purposefully done to mold or change or exploit the term. And I feel that really what's going on is people are misusing, misunderstanding the animal rights portion of the word vegan. So for example, people are watching documentaries and they're seeing the you know effects of meat and dairy in their diets and they definitely understand that eating animals is not a good thing. Eating animal proteins is not a good thing. So they feel, all right, I'm gonna try the vegan diet. Now, that being said, they are doing it for health reasons and they don't either don't know or they're not concerned with the animal rights portion of it. So vegans are getting, in a sense, butthurt over that because they're saying, people are saying, I'm a vegan because I don't eat meat and animal proteins, but vegans are getting mad because those people are still buying leather belts or leather shoes or contributing to other factors that exploit animals. That's where you have a lot of the confrontation coming. I disagree though that vegans should be so um, unreasonable and attacking these other people who are saying that they're vegan because they're already doing something right. They're already taking a huge step in the right direction, whether it's vegetarian or veganism, they're trying to, they're already helping in the cause of the vegan movement. Does that make sense? So to shame them and to say, no, you're not a vegan because you still have leather in your car, um, to me, that's a little ridiculous. If they, they want to change and stop using animal products on their own because they've been educated then that's completely up to them. But I don't think that the word vegan is being hijacked. I think what needs to happen is there needs to be a separation of the two terms. I live on a vegan diet. I live a vegan lifestyle because they're essentially two different things. So here's an example to consider. Let's say there's a vegan restaurant and they serve 100% vegan cuisine. Yet in the back behind the scenes, let's say the owner purchased a dish soap that was tested on animals and knowingly did so, or maybe found out after the fact, but continues to use the soap and might or might not change that in the future, is that restaurant still a vegan restaurant? See, the hardcore vegans, I have a feeling, would say no because they're using products that harm animals or exploit animals. The people doing veganism for the diet aspect would say yes because all the food cooked is vegan. A line has to be drawn in the sand at some point. That's fine. I feel that the hardcore vegans can stick to their guns and you know, be in it all or none, and that's completely fine. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be. What I am saying is that they should be a little more compassionate to the people who are trying but aren't 100% vegan. And I think it's okay to let them use the term 
if they're sticking to it, you know, majority, if they're, if they're trying to stick to it as best they can, it doesn't bother me. If someone says I'm mostly vegan, I don't get bent out of shape because I understand what they mean. If they're saying that they eat a vegan diet 99% of the time of the year, but on Thanksgiving, because they don't want to offend grandma, they have a little bit of turkey meat, that's up to them. That doesn't bother me because that's a choice that they've made. And the other days of the year, they're doing a huge benefit to the vegan movement. And they might even be spreading that information to, to others. So I don't think that they shouldn't be allowed to use the term. I just think that maybe there should be a distinguished statement of, I live a plant-based diet or I live on a vegan diet as opposed to I'm a vegan because I'm a vegan, it does give the implication that you live the vegan lifestyle and by the code of the vegan, which, and, and that's something that I think um, needs to be addressed. I also think that vegans do more harm than good when they bash other people for trying or if they may maybe aren't a hundred percent um i personally dealt with this in a youtube video where there was a woman who was interested in trying veganism wanted to go vegan or maybe even vegetarian i had some real noobish questions uh one in particular had to do with you know what about fish or seafood it, things like that but one of them was honey and i know honey is a is a touchy subject with vegans and I'll cover that in a future video for sure because it's something that needs to be addressed. But I got so much just anger from this one particular vegan about how I made the statement that you know some vegans eat honey and some don't, which is true. There are people that have a vegan diet and they eat honey and they don't eat any other animal proteins. And it doesn't bother me if their source of honey is coming from a bee farm that's not exploited I don't see what the big deal is, but this dude was going off on me saying that I am promoting, you know, the exploitation of bees and that, you know, anyone who eats honey is not a vegan and just like the passion that they had about it. It wasn't, I didn't take it personally because to me it's like, mm, you know, doesn't affect me. But if someone else is reading that, I, I can't imagine that it's going to give them a good impression of vegans. It, it definitely wouldn't. It it'd probably turned them off, but that's just one instance that, that I experienced. Who knows what's going out there on all the other videos and articles that are written. Um, it's unfortunate. So there you have it. My two cents as far as the word vegan. I don't think it's being hijacked. I just think it's misunderstood and being misinterpreted. I feel that if there's anything to take away from this, it's that vegans should be more compassionate to other people. Um, unless you have been a vegan your entire life from birth, which I don't, I've yet to meet someone who is, I'm sure they're out there, but I've yet to meet some. And remember, people are addicted to their foods, specifically animal proteins. Uh, that stuff is hyper palatable. It has a bunch of stuff added to it uh, to make people crave it. So remember, if you went off if you if you switch to a vegan or vegetarian lifestyle yourself you used to eat meat and i know personally <laughs> i used to make fun of the idea of veganism before i went vegan you know i wouldn't have tried it i probably would have had the same reaction as everyone else oh you know bacon's too bacon tastes great um but when you see pig slaughtered and stuff like that it changes your your world and so i think that Help those that can be helped. Leave those that can't because if them seeing videos and looking up the information, is it going to change their mind? I don't think you being a jerk to them is going to change their mind either. Um, I've yet to see people <laughs> react positively to you know, being bashed or talked down to. Uh, I don't think I'm better than anyone as a vegan and I would like to help those that want to be helped give more information, share my expertise, and be compassionate, be supportive. That's that's what it's all about, in my opinion. That's, that's what we should be doing. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to engage in any type of conversation you have. If you have other questions or recommendations on what you wanna hear about, uh, let me know. Also like the video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe. 
I definitely want to share as much of this with as many people as I can. Thanks for the watch. Have a great day. I can feel my enemy begin to feel my drum. I am ready when it comes to pain. I'm numb. I can tell you things you won't believe I've done. I kill to feel.